Hey everybody, it's Gift to Gustavus Day! We are here on the second floor of Olin. Some of you guys may recognize all of the beautiful plants that we have up here. And I am here with these incredible faculty members, and of course the one and only Gus the Lion, for the I Heart Faculty Challenge. Now, some of you guys may remember a few different professors, I know for me it's many, who have made an impact in your life. Maybe it's the work that you do every day, something that you're really passionate about, or helped you understand the world in a different way than you did before you arrived on the hill. And that is what this challenge celebrates. So if you can think of any professor that you had on the hill, please give to the I Heart Faculty Fund. Now, I'm gonna turn it over to these fantastic people who, again, some of you may recognize. We all know the one and only Gus the Lion, but let's go down the line, introduce yourselves and the department that you're a part of. I'm Jeff Dalside. I'm in the biology and chemistry departments and the program for biochemistry and molecular biology. Ooh. I'm James Patrick Miller, or JPM, and I'm in the music department where I conduct the Gustavus Wind Orchestra. I'm Kate Knudsen in the political science department. And I'm David Tolwadu Obermiller, and I'm in the History Department, Japanese Studies Program, and Environmental Studies Program. Woo! I know I'm personally a big fan of all of these people, and so is Gus, which is why he had this incredible idea to celebrate these faculty members, all representing different parts of the academy, right? Science, uh, the arts. Uh, humanities, of course, I'm missing one, but social anyway, science. social science and social science. That's why these guys are here with me. Uh, and Gus came up with a few awards to celebrate these people. Uh, so Gus, uh, tell us about what our first award is for Jeff here. <laughs> so for those of you who don't speak Gus, I'm here to interpret. Gus just said that uh, Jeff is an incredible professor, especially for new science students. He loves walking students through uh, and introducing them to scientific inquiry, which is why we are giving Jeff today the unofficial Nobel Prize for scientific inquiry. Jeff, congratulations! Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I'm touched. Oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> Now, JPM is getting our next award. Gus, tell us about what JPM's award is today. Oh yeah, Gus is saying that JPM is a huge cheerleader for all of his, all of his students, and especially for Gustavus as a whole. So Gus talked to the cheerleading team at Gustavus, and we got you, JPM, some pom-poms, honorary pom-poms. Uh, here you go. Yes. <laughs> right. Go Gusty! Go Gusty! That's right! And Kate Knudsen is getting our next award. Gus, tell us why Kate's getting an award today. Oh yes, well first of all, Gus is saying that Kate is an excellent baker. She frequently wins the political science faculty bake-off. Uh, but what Gus also said there is that Kate is a fantastic leader in conversations in the classroom, uh, opening students up to different perspectives, asking hard questions, and especially in public policy. So we are giving Kate Gustavus's Grand Poobah of Public Policy Award. Kate, congratulations. <laughs> Woo! I'm speechless. <laughs> and last but not least, we have David Obermiller. Gus, tell us why David's getting an award today. Oh yeah, so Gus is saying that uh, David has a catchphrase that he's very well known for among his students, and that catchphrase is, history does not exist in a vacuum, which is a very wise morsel of knowledge, uh, but also very memorable. So today we are giving Professor Obermiller the best original catchphrase award uh, for history does not exist in a vacuum. David, congratulations. Thank you. And some people think, or may say that this award really sucks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's it for Give to Gustavus Day and the I Heart Faculty Challenge. If you haven't given a gift today, please consider making a gift that's generous to you, and we'll see you soon. Oh, <laughs>